Just over a year ago, um, the British public voted to leave the European Union. And there were three main reasons for doing so. It was about control, but taking back control of our borders, of our laws, and also our money. Now, as you probably know, Article 50 has been triggered, and this is a process that will take us out of the European Union at EU level. But we've also got to deliver on that taking back control at domestic level too. And that's where the Great Repeal Bill fits in. It's called the Great Repeal Bill at the moment, not yet been published. It will be soon. It will appear in the Queen's speech. And it's called the Great Repeal Bill because it's going to repeal quite a lot of things. But also it's worth bearing in mind, when it finally does get published, it won't have such a sexy title. It'll be given a very dull name consistent with parliamentary traditions. Great Repeal Bill has three main aims. To repeal um, the European Communities Act, which is the act which took us into the European Union at domestic level. To convert, to convert the whole corpus of EU law into domestic law and to correct, to correct the UK statute book to try and ensure that it functions effectively on Brexit day. Now the Great Repeal Bill isn't intended to make major policy changes. Major policy changes in the field of, for example, immigration will be dealt with through separate Acts of Parliament, what it's meant to do is to deliver a smooth, orderly Brexit so that for business, whether it's pre-Brexit day or post-Brexit day, they shouldn't feel a significant difference. The same legal regime will apply. So looking at those three aims of the, the uh, Great Repeal Bill, first one is repeal, and that will be repealing the European Communities Act. And the European Communities Act gives precedence to EU law um, over domestic law, if there's a case of conflict between the two, and the Great Repeal Bill will stop that from happening. We'll, we'll sort of stop it from happening. It's not quite as crystal clear as would first appear in respect to pre-Brexit EU rules and pre-Brexit domestic law. Pre-Brexit EU law will carry on prevailing. Secondly, convert. The whole point about the Great Repeal Bill is to convert the whole corpus of EU law into uh, domestic law. And so that is what the second strand of the Great Repeal Bill will do. Now, it's more complicated than that because quite a lot of EU law is already part of British law through Acts of Parliament. But there are certain types of rules which are not automatically part of UK law once we leave and the Great Repeal Bill will deliver that. Thirdly, correct. This is about correcting the statute book to remove, for example, references in statutes to um, the existence of EU law. But this is where the controversial Henry VIII powers kick in. Henry VIII powers, those are the powers which give the executive the power to amend uh, acts of palm, so amend primary law. And that is rather controversial because it means that the executive is taking precedence over Parliament. Nevertheless, it's the only way that Brexit can be delivered by Brexit Day, 29th of March, 2019. Dear world, yours.